Hey everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought and back to the horse box build. Right, before we get started, I would just like to have a quick shout out to two very, very good dear friends from Our Time Van Life. Check out their channel, the link is above. And go and check them out, they're a lovely couple. Do you know what? Two of the nicest people you will ever, ever meet. So please check out their channel, please subscribe to them. Um, give them that little bit of a boost, get a bit of a help for me. Um, and you get great, huge, massive thanks from me. Like I say, as you can see behind me, the horse box is coming on quite good. Um, we've done quite a lot to it. And I'm not gonna say any more for now, but let's roll the intro and check out what we're doing today. Hi everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. Today, we're still working on Hetty the Horse Box. So yeah, I did say in one of my previous videos that we would be getting on with this project. And as promised, we are getting on with it. Uh, the last time you were here, we were fitting one of the windows at the front, so let me show you this. There you go, a nice tinted window. Um, that's in there secure. I've just got to cut the Sigflex from the outside. Let's go back to the back windows as well. We have now also blacked out these three here. Um, I've still got to do those two just over there. And also we blacked out these two here and I've still yet to fit one in there and the one at the front on the driver's side as well. But today, for now, um, I've got to get this vehicle ready so they can actually just it's usable and when I mean usable all they're on about is having a bed and a shower so we've got to get them fixed in here as super quickly as possible but doing it properly and giving it a nice finish this back wall here so the tailgate is going to be their deck um, seating area decking area garden area whichever what you want to call it and there's going to be a wall here Probably with a couple of open doors above the bed because the bed's going to be about a metre, 1.1 metres 1 .1 meter high. So first of all, I think what we've got to do is we have to insulate. So this one's not stuck. This one is. Now, problem is, where I want it at 600, which is about there, problem is we've got the window frame which is in the way and also a little lip up here. Now, what we're gonna do is put a little mark here on this side and a little mark above it. And the same at the top where this lip is. Right, so what I need to do is cut this little bit out here. Give me a little recess for the window, the window frame seeing. <clears throat> and up here, a little recess for that lip at the top of the, the, the curved edge of uh, the actual top of the box. So this is quite easy to get out and I'll show you how we do it. If you're building vans and you haven't got one of these tools yet, get yourself one. This is called a power file or a finger file. And it's literally a little bit of sandpaper, very thin bit of sandpaper. And it acts like a file, but a motorized file. So let me show you. And there you go, it gives me a little lip inside. And trust me, worth every single penny when you buy one of these. You know, it's one, I've actually got an air one as well. They are that good. Right, so now for the larger bit, just there. 
Right, so there's the mark we've got to take out for the window frame. So all I'm going to do here... Right, so that's given me two slots, and that's not the proper way to use a chop saw, but to get this out, I'm just going to use a hammer and chisel. Now we've marked that side. We'll do a mark along this side as well. Right, that caused a little bit of issues because we've got a knot right in the middle there. It's not pretty, but it doesn't need to look pretty, it needs to serve a purpose. So 600, so we've got a mark there, got a mark there. So there you go, that's flush against the wall. So when we put the, sh um, whatever finish we're gonna put, I think it's gonna be nine mil ply on here. Uh, could even be cladding. Once it's on there, it's gonna be completely flat there's going to be no bulges or anything. They're looking for quite a good finish on this, so. Now to attach this to the wall, I'm going to run a, sicker, a bead of Sikaplex down here. And also screw it with 40 mil screws. Because this is 25 mil roofing batten. I've got 18 mil thick walls on the van, or on the, on the lorry. So it gives us 43 mil to play with, so we've used 40 mil screws. Right, so there you go. All we've got to do is cut down the insulation board and put it between here and here. I'm going to put a batten, another batten here and then wrap the battens all the way along here. We're only going to go up to just over 1.5 metres so we can start to fit the bedding. Get this panelled off, however they're going to do it. Then we get this side and then we start building the bed out off of it. Because that's the first job we're going to do. Do you know, as much as I keep looking at this wall, they seem really not level, but they are. It's just me. I've done loads of measurements and they're all right. It's just me, I think. I think my eyes are wonky. Anyway, I'm going to get these battens here finished off and done. Um, just to show you what insulation we're going to be using, it's over there at the back. It's the same stuff as like Celotex, Kingspan, and that's 25mm thick. 
One other question you're probably asking yourself, coming back to these battens, is why are we using blue roofing battens? Because it's the only material that we can get which is 25 mil deep, and when you put your insulation on it, the 25 mil insulation is complete, completely flush with the battens. So we buy loads of these and use them on all sorts of vans, especially if we're using that on the walls as well. But we do use them on the ceiling, on vans mostly, but lorries, we use it on the wall as well as the ceiling. Um, also, going to the roof, what we're doing is with the battens, we're gonna tuck them over the top of this lip here and stretch it from one side to the other, probably using these metal bars already here. And that's more than likely what we're going to do. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's all trial and error. But we might affix them to the actual edge of it. Anyway, we're going to crack on with this job. And once I've insulated it, um, I'll start putting the insulation. I'll come back to you and show you what we've done once we've done all these battens. I just wanted to show you how we're doing it. So if you ever decide to do one of these yourselves and do a project, then you know a little bit more after watching me. Well, I hope you do. Right, okay then, I'm going to get on and I'll see you shortly. Right, so now we put some of the insulation in. Let me show you. And as you can see, we've taped here. That is where the window is behind there. So we know where the window is. I've just got to do that little section there. And that section there. Also, we have Sigaflex's windows completely shut. And the reason being is, so one, they don't pop open. And two, they don't let any draft or in or any heat that does get through out. I know I was videoing putting this stuff up. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't done any more since I did this video. But I don't know how far we got on that video. All I've done is, from here, we put a button there. There's a button just here. And there's a button here. And a button here. And obviously the button here. I've got to put another button down here. Because we're going to run cabling down through a void here in this wall. Um, this is Simon and Zoe's horse box. A lot of you know me, we know Simon and Zoe, and this is their going to be their motorhome. So he wants all his cables run down through a void in there. So we're going to leave, I don't know, probably about a 50 or 100 mil gap to put a load of cables down in. This vehicle is going to be very, very high tech. And when I say high tech, anybody who knows what Control 4 is, or let's just say home automation. So everything's all, all automated in the home. This is what's gonna be happening with this vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of high tech stuff going in it, or a lot of tech going in it anyway. Um, so when we're at the shows and you wanna have a look at this, you should see some amazing stuff. So this is gonna be quite a complex build as far as tech wiring everything goes i think it's going to be a maze of wires everywhere um let me describe the layout so the bed is going to go the head is going up this side and it's going to come out obviously to about here so they're going to be able to walk around the end of the bed and out and round the bed is going to be roughly one meter high or just over a meter high so it goes above the old tack locker so you see where that line is there that's where the bed's going to come up to quite high. So they're going to have a little step, set of steps up that end, which is going to come up into the bed. So on this side of the bed, over this side, will be where the shower and the toilet is. Now, we're going to be putting a recirculating shower in here as well. So the same as my bus, which is still at the garage, still being repaired. Um, huge, massive bill. I will reveal the bill when it comes back. And we've... Let me just tell you... Just a quick one on that. Um, the ECU has caused a nightmare to the point it's had a brand new ECU fitted. Ton of other work done. And, um, but that's for a later video. Right now, this is the one. So, so you know what's going on here. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna video all of it, because I, I think when I just have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of video footage on this, if I do every little bit. You, I've, I've done the video and the insulation. What I will do, I'll put the other batten in here so we can bring the cables down. And once I've got that batten in and we start running cables, 
I'll bring it back up on the video so you can see what we've done. Right, okay, we've been busy in here. As you can see, got a bird's nest of cables going up the wall there. Over the roof. And down the other side as well, some come down the other side. And we've started building the back wall. And the reason we're building this back wall in now is so we can get all the shower stuff here. So we're gonna bring some of the shower, the wall across here for now, but obviously leaving this area open so we can get materials in and out. We wanna make life easy for ourselves while we're building this little horse box. So yeah, so a lot of the cabling's in. Um, some more battens have been put up and down there and say this nice sturdy frame and the reason that's all there you'll see as we go on because all the shower gubbins are going to be there and it's got a good layout for this lorry really good layout there's a lot of work to do a hell of a lot of work to do. anyway that's it for today i'm gonna to have to come back to you because that's it for me. I'm done for today and we'll be back hopefully tomorrow cracking back on with it. Right, so what have we done? We've got a ton of cable down. We started to make the frame for sort of the bed, the shower, where the end of the bed's gonna be. Um, we've got quite a complex bedroom build here. Um, but Simon and Zoe want this and they've got specific ideas about how they want stuff. Hence why this is going to be an exciting build because some of the tech that's going into this is out of this world. Um, everybody goes on about how good Victron is. Um, you wait till you see what they've got going in this. It's nothing to do with solar but it's something completely different and it's going to set this horse box aside completely from many other vehicles. Um, if you see it at the shows, please come and have a look at it, especially once the tech's in it. Right, enough of that. Let's crack on. Um, what I'm going to be doing is finish this bed off, get the other bit of the framing over the other side there, because um, I've got a drop floor going beside the bed. But let me show you this as we go along. I'll do a little bit first, and then we'll do a little bit more, and <clears throat> I'll keep coming back to it because... It's a lot to do and film because it's it's quite a complex build full stop. Okay, I'm actually stood inside the bed frame. And there's the bed frame all the way around me. Look at that. So not only that, we've now got that supporting leg in and that's where it's got to sit. And yes, we've done the flooring as well. So that's all in place, all glued down. So let me explain a little bit. So at the end of the bed here, there's gonna be a drop floor so I can get out of bed, walk around the bed and walk around this side of the bed as well. Uh, a couple of little steps down to go into the living area. With this sort of half metre gap here, it's then gonna be the shower. And what a shower it is as well. We are putting, as I did in the caravan, as I'm doing in my bus, a recirculating filtered shower. Now this shower is gonna run off a 30 litre tank. 
go through a three stage filter system. It's going to go through the spin down filter, a UV filter, and you can get roughly about nine to 10 showers out of them. The filters can also be cleaned, although it's better to change them, but each to their own really. You know, how clean do you want the water to um, shower in? Also, with the um, water tank, it's gonna be in a really good position. Um, I'm gonna keep that a bit of a secret until we actually get it and fit it. But the, where I'm placing it, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm well chuffed for myself. Because um, the way it's all designed, regarding where the shower system's gonna be, opposed to the shower and the water tank. Um, I was quite pleased with myself. <laughs> Um, and it was an accidental design on where the tank's gonna go. Anyway, right, so what have we got to do now? I have got to put up a support up this side for this wall here and start building a framework for the floor here. I'm not gonna bother about the end of the bed for now. I'm just gonna get this side done. In fact, might as well do the lot together actually because it worked better as a complete one complete frame so yeah <clears throat> i'm going to get on with that and um as soon as i'm done we'll come back to you and show you how it's designed how it's fitted so the bed how this is all built we use these angle brackets in the corners this corner is attached here and this is supported here there's going to be lots of more wood lots more paneling which will make the bed even stronger before anybody says, oh, you're only using three by two. There's gonna be weighty old um, slats on it as well, which is what I use for my beds. Um, so if it can take my weight, it can take anybody's. Right, okay. So now we've painted, as you can see by the time lapse, All the wooden framing, all the way around, all the bed. We painted it with a fence thing. The reason being is because you get to keep a good chunk of the grain. It shows through. Again, a lot of this framework will be hidden, but that that is visible will have a nice look to it. So that's why we use this fence thing. Not as, as a double-edged sword though, um, being that it is fence stain, it's exterior use. And the fact that it's exterior use, if for any reason, and it does happen, you get leaks, um, you get water ingress somewhere. Unlike most normal interior woods, this will last a lot longer and will weather through some of this water ingress, whatever, whatever happens, any leak. So it will stop it from rotting as quick as normal sort of plain wood would, would plain wood 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 i don't know anyway so that is the theory behind that um it also looks really nice it does look really nice when it's on especially once we've got the second coat on and once we've done that we can put the panel that we've cut over on this side that's going to be painted with white paint but we don't have that today so we need to go and get the white paint and the undercoat so we can do that yeah still lots to do and this is the part of the build that I like, where it starts to take shape, where it starts to sort of get its own sort of personality, its own look, and it starts evolving. And that's as long as your customers or whoever vans they belong to don't keep changing designs, adding things, taking things away, but that's just life. And um, we do that on our own vans. Um, that's why I say, these vehicles evolve, they're only 99% finished because you've never finished them because you're always changing something, adding something, taking away something and replacing it. It's, you know, it's evolvement. Even these new coach boots, when they come out of the workshop, first thing people do is, oh, solar. So each vehicle you get is always evolving. So if anybody says to you, yeah, my vehicle is finished, rubbish, coin your liar. He's not, never finished. All right, that's my waffling for today. Um, this, as far as this video is gonna go for now, I think, We've got lots on here where we've done the insulation, the battening, we've done the framework. Um, the panel going on and the floor surrounding it would be another video. So um, I'm sorry that the videos have been lacking. I've been very far and few between. Um, I will try to put out a lot more shorts on YouTube as well. So keep an eye out them for coming up. And you'll probably, if you're watching the shorts now, you'd already seen what I've done in here. Anyway, 
hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. And most of all, staying really, really happy. So it's bye for now.